Ellie and this is my second strategy on getting an A star in A level geography. So strategy number two to extend your subject knowledge is to subscribe to a magazine. I have three magazines which have reached my top podium. In third place is Geography. This is written by the Geographical Association. The articles are quite complex and they're more like the articles you would get at university. So if you're looking to stretch yourself, this is a really good one to go for. You could already see on the front cover that we have topics on global governance, space and place, and also national sovereignty. This one comes out a couple of times a year. Most schools are subscribers to the Geographical Association, so just ask your teacher and they might be able to give it to you. Another one which the Geographical Association does is Geography Matters. Now this is a yearly um, newsletter which is produced by the post 16 committee this is for a level students and teachers it has topics based on a level so whether it's the nea whether it's up to date subject knowledge this is free to download and i'll put the link below for you to check out in second place is geographical now i've got so many of these because i just love them especially when they're together they just look really colorful so you can see here, there are so many different topics that they're on. So this one is about Chinese graffiti as the main article, but there's loads of articles in them. Sulfur mining, we have caught in the crossfire, so about endangered species, desanation in this one, and the climate generation. They come out once a month, so this is one of the most regular magazines that I have suggested for you. So a thing to note with these is that these are produced by the RGS, and the RGS, the Royal Geographical Society, has lots of members. People who are lecturers, people who used to do geography at university, people who work in geographical fields. So the best way I think to use these is to think about your synoptic links. So in geography, part of the A-level is really important to draw synoptic links, which means kind of combining your ideas between human and physical geography. So in Edexcel, there's the whole paper three, which is just on synopticity. Whereas in AQA, you're asked to draw on both human and physical throughout both essays. So what's really good to do with these articles would be to read them and to think, what does it link to? Does it link to water insecurity? Or does it link to globalization? Or do, does it both link to that in the same article? And I think looking at unfamiliar material is really, really good to develop your skills as geographers. This is free to subscribers. And if you are looking to apply to university, signing up for something like the Royal Geographical Society is really good to put on your UCAS application. That's in my second place. All of those. And in first place is Geography Review, which is written for A-level students. I think it's really good because it's also written by the examiners and it links to your examination questions. They sometimes give you model answers and say, why is this one good? How can this one be improved? They have tips on interpreting data. They have tips on field work, how to produce a good NEA. I just think it's really good for up-to-date subject knowledge. So I really would check this one out. You can either get a student subscription or you can get a school subscription. So your teacher already might have this. So ask them to read it. It comes out a couple of times a year. And the reason I think it's so good it's just because it's written by examiners and lecturers for A-level students and it's really clear on what they're saying and how they can help you with A-level geography and getting good grades. So those are my top three magazines in my second strategy for getting an A-star in A-level geography. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe. If you have a question, then put it in the comment box below and I will get back to you on that.